We are back with more in my southern home and I'm here with Kirby, Barbara Riley, and Courtney Manos with Courtney by Designs. And this kitchen that you guys brought us to today is absolutely magnificent. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you guys worked together to design this kitchen. And Kirby, what was one of the main things that Barbara Cabinet Company brought to the table with this kitchen? Um, well, the client was actually wonderful to work with. Um, they were very specific. They love to entertain. Um, so we definitely brought them this large island, um, a very custom hood, which was very unique. We've never done one like that before. And then we also um, did the walk-in pantry, which is also a feature. And Courtney, how did you bring all these design elements together to give the client exactly what they wanted? Well, first, the home is situated on a lake, so we were trying to bring the nature inside the home too and kind of the whole um, concept was rustic elegance. So we wanted it to be casual and everyday living, but also have a touch of uh, pizzazz as well. So we did that with, you know, mixing materials and colors and finishes. And what are the different materials and colors and finishes that are in this kitchen? Well, we did a mix of stained wood that is more in the gray tones and then with painted, um, lighter painted cabinetry as well. Um, iron um, lighting fixtures with crystals um, and also the different hardware as well. Kirby, I think this is the largest island that I've ever seen. Was it a challenge bringing it into the home? Luckily, it was not. Um, it is built in pieces, so our crew actually assembled it on site. Um, but yes, it is one of the largest that Barber Cabinet has done. And this is a custom kitchen that you guys worked together to create. And this, the cabinets here have a design that you made specifically for the homeowner. Yes, we did. Um, again, pulling in the um, hickory wood, um, as well as the alder wood that is a actually a pigmented stain with a glazing on it to highlight the color that we used with the hickory. Um, and all of the wood product is actually provided by Cutter Woodworking. Oh, that's nice. So it's, it's all designed locally. Yes. Courtney, you helped design this home from scratch. Yes, I started very early on with a client, um, even, you know, uh, modifying the floor plan and um, designing the whole layout throughout the home. And Kirby, you guys didn't just help them with the kitchen, you have a gorgeous pantry for them as well. We do, yes, absolutely. The walk-in pantry was definitely a feature in this home that was um, something very unique um, that are not in a lot of homes. Uh, we also did the laundry room, the bathrooms, and office space as well. When you guys start working together on a project, what's the process for that? Um, I kind of, I've started with pulling, um, I had a concept and an idea I pulled and um, met with Kirby on and she kind of took it from there and then we met and, with the homeowner as well and went through finishes and pulling all those um, materials together um, with the custom uh, grill details and the custom uh, seated glass in the cabinetry as well. And we meet numerous times. So we went over this kitchen probably 10 to 15 different yes. times with making changes and just making sure that it was just right. One of the things that I liked that you're pointing out is the different finishes that you use in this kitchen. Yes, we actually did a completely different uh, construction. Um, all of the hickory wood is just inset cabinetry construction. And then all of the lighter cabinetry is done in beaded inset. And it has different color hardware as well. And Courtney, I love how in the design that you took us to before and the house that we're in today, all the appliances are hidden. Yes, I really uh, like to um, hide those and not make them really stand out. I like the cabinetry um, in the kitchen to speak for itself and the appliances to kind of just be um, disappear into the design. And Kirby, it's amazing the difference in technology that, and what you can do with design now when it comes to kitchens. Absolutely. Um, having access to a CNC machine has given us the advantage to actually create all of these custom looks, the glass doors, the hood, um, all of the moldings and things like that as well. And what are some of the trends that you're seeing in kitchen design right now? 
We are seeing a lot of the transitional look. People want something that's very timeless. Um, we are doing the lighter color tones and then we are mixing them as well. Um, a lot of times people are doing a darker color as an accent feature, more so on their islands or maybe a wet bar, um, just to kind of pull in something that looks almost like a piece of furniture was built and brought in by somebody else. And Courtney, are you seeing some specific design styles when it comes to kitchens? Um, definitely the um, lighter color cabinetry is still very um, in high demand and um, the just mixing the um, elements and creating a classic timeless look for sure. And one trend that we haven't talked about yet is the corner drawer pieces. Yes, actually the corner drawers are very functional. Um, a lot of times people want something different rather than doing a lazy Susan and having those turntables. A lot of people are hesitant to use them. Uh, the corner drawers are a great option for that, a replacement. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.